Here comes a true superstar. The following contest is a last woman standing match. Making her way to the ring from New Orleans, Louisiana, Adrienne Mackey. You can't deny the athleticism and intensity this competitor brings to the table. She found that little something extra training with Booker T, and it made all the difference. She's going to need that now because there's no competition more fierce than WWE's women's division. She knows she deserves to be atop this division, and a win tonight will go a long way towards that. The HBIC. Head batty in charge. And Mia is always ready for a fight. And from Fontana, California, Mia Yim. Mia Yim with impressive performances in the first two May Young Classic tournaments. Yeah, plenty of big match experience in NXT, competing at several NXT TakeOver events. Ready to jump to that next level with a win here tonight. There's a lot of turbulent history between the two women in this ring tonight, and the next chapter in their explosive story is now underway. Mia and her opponent have fought with each other and against each other, but they've never fought in a match as brutal as this. For once I agree with you, Saxton, this may not be the Royal Rumble match they were hoping for, but after everything they've been through, a win here will feel just as satisfying. Ah, she fights Mia back. If this works, it could change the course of the match. Look at this hot. Are you kidding me, the Dragon Rana? She adjusts it and reverses it. Turned that one around. Into the corner now. Big kick to the side of the face. And the moonsault. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Lift off, twisting midair into the splash. Took a gamble once, took a gamble again. Over and over again, the superstar making. Oh, how is <laughs> Incredible offense. Not to the back of the neck, sends their opponent to the middle of the ring. A handstand into a Pele kick. Set right out of the ring. She has her target, weighed and measured. Suicide! Oh, DDT! Oh, that was nuts. It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Yeah, but Mia needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. She flips it back on her. Arm side kick. Consecutive attacks keeping Mia off her game. And Mia needs to reassess her strategy. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Wow. Enough already. Really just laying it in. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. <laughs> Set up on the table. What, what's next? Whatever it is, it's not going to be good.
Deep return to the ring. Telling her opposition, you are way out of your depth here. At this point, this is incredibly ill-advised. You're in the middle of a match. Getting close to 10 here. Now you got to dig deep. She's up. She's broken the referee's count. There it is. Wow, straight to the floor. A totally ill-advised decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. Mia has lost any momentum here. Yeah, Mia's not looking good here. Things not going how she'd like. The longer the match goes on, the more damage they will do just to be the last man standing. Oh, strong impact! Oh, God! And the damage is just going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. Just muscling up their opponent into the gauntlet suplex. And she's able to fight Mia off. Looking to take flight here. On the top. And not ready for the bell just yet. And after that, you know things have just kicked up the notch. Head over the metal right now. From the top. You gotta be kidding me. And that was a collision you don't want to be on the receiving end of. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. Soak it all in. Six. Referee's count has reached seven here. Getting dangerously Eight. close to the inevitable. Nine. Ten. And that'll about do it, folks. Here is your winner, Adrian Mackey. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat.